going. Yeah, no worries. And then we can just talk about what we're doing. What are we doing? Yeah, so we're going to do beginner's first lesson. Mm -hmm. So you've done your lesson plan. We've looked at that. You've gone out, you've practiced with your wife. Where she pretended to be the learner. So you had a bit of practice for that. <laughs> it was good fun. It was and, a good laugh. <laughs> and and <laughs> I'll play the role of your pupil. Like it's my very first lesson. Yeah. So we'll just have to pretend I'm young. Because there's not many 50, well, nearly 50, not many 50 year olds turn up for their first lesson. 50 years old. I mean, really they, old, you know, sorry. <laughs> it's possible. Yes. <laughs> but so I, I just, for the sake of being, what's the word, in the mainstream, yeah. I guess. I'll be that 17 year old. So I'd still live yeah. at home. Let's say I've got a part time job at, job at Macros yeah. and the lesson's starting here. Um, you've identified a training area, which is just literally a stone's throw from yeah. here, which would be ideal. Um, and yeah, so you know, I've, I've been a passenger, mm -hmm. but I've never driven a car. I've never. Okay. Mum and dad, like, no, nah, nah, wait, wait for the professionals, yeah. wait for the instructors <laughs> to turn up. Because they don't trust me, they think I'll crash it, which they're probably right. So I don't, I don't really know about really, you know, I want to learn manual, I don't know about the clutch and, you know, but I want to have some knowledge, you know. Yeah. So, but that's the thing, that's the beauty of this, you don't know what I know, yeah, you sure. know, some things, mm -hmm. you know, for you know, dad's got a manual or mum's got an automatic, so I might, I might sort of have a bit of knowledge. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, so you'll have to explain quite a lot to me. Um, but some things I'll know, so it's kind of just trying to get that balance right. And you know, you, and we're just saying in your lesson plan, there's so much to remember, isn't there? Like there's me, meeting the legal yeah. requirements. So should we say that we've already checked my license, my provisional, and I'm, yeah. I'm, it's valid, mm -hmm. and you've checked my eyesight. Yes, I think so. Should we so, say yeah. that we've yeah. we've done that bit? Yeah. We've got perhaps, L plates on the car. Perhaps if I could just interject in terms of the eyesight test. I believe that you tend to get them to check the furthest number plate away that they can see. I would. Then if the weather's good enough, you just get them out of the car and potentially walk up to that number plate and give yeah. them an idea of the distance. Yeah. yeah, rather than, the reason I do that, rather than just go to 20 and a half meters and say, and read a number plate, I feel it's very formal, isn't it? Like, oh, you know. Jeez, yeah. So I would say, I, yeah, because we, we were just saying before we sort of turned the camera on that we're, we were looking at the national standards for drivers and the national standards for driver training, roles one to six, we were looking at. And and we're sort of saying that we're teaching them not just to pass a test like mm -hmm. we were in the 80s. Yeah. Kind of me and me and yeah. you, 80s kids, <laughs> we learned. And, and it was like, oh, all our instructors said is just how you're going to pass a test. Yeah. And, and now it's like we're teaching to pass their test mm. for a lifetime. So going back to that eyesight thing, I, I would get them to read a number plate as far as they can, mm -hmm. and they go, oh, you know, there you go. How far is that? I'd ask them. Mm -hmm. So I can sort of judge what they're like with distance, because mo they should. most of them will be metric, wouldn't they? Not many 17-year-olds will say, well, oh, it's about so-and-so yards. I'm like, well, yards? What? Yeah. <laughs> you thought of that. Did you say the, the Ford C-Max <laughs> is about... 20 meters away. I'd say that's more. I'd say the, the back yeah. of the Fiesta. Okay. Is more oh, okay. in the distance. Okay. About five car lengths. Right. Yeah. Okay. So and and that's the thing. Once they've read that number plate, and we've established how far it could be 40 meters, and they go, yes, yeah, so that's really good. And then I say, do you know what the legal requirement is? And of course they won't. So then I say, well, it's 20 and a half. So let's walk towards that car, and you stop when you think you're about 20 minutes. 20 meters yeah so mm -hmm. you can sort of just judge their perception of distance yeah. um and then when we get there i'd even just and say well actually we can go a bit closer than this that's yeah. 20 meters so now we're at 20 meters and they say well i can read that fine yeah because yeah, you obviously they could read it at 40 or whatever yeah, now yeah. they're reading it at 20 mm -hmm. and i said well how many car lengths do you reckon that is and five six they would mm. say and i'd say well that that's the legal requirement so as you get older because yeah. we're preparing them to teach try, drive for life, mm -hmm. roll five. Yeah. Um, so, as because the, their eyes will diminish, mine have, you know. Um, 
I noticed that I have to have mm. my eyes test. Every time I go, every two years, I have my eyes test. Mm. They correct my prescription. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, Christ, how yeah. long have I got? No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. no, I, so, I had an eye test at the weekend and I had to have a new pair yeah. of reading glasses just for reading. But, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> as they get older, you know, like the, the incident with Prince Philip. Yes. It's just mm. sort of strange, isn't it? Yeah. So we, that's what we're, from day one, the first thing we do is kind of like, yeah, we're kind of giving them responsibilities for their eyesight over yeah. their life and know what the legal limit is. Because how are they going to, are they going to read the, the highway code every time it comes out? Are they going to read that bit? Are they going to know? Probably not. And, um, you know, <laughs> so we're just, hopefully that has stayed with them. They think, oh yeah, no, I remember my instructor yeah. mm -hmm. told me it's about five car lengths. You've yeah. got to read a number plate. And do you know what? I don't think I can do that anymore. I better yeah. go up the old petitions. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, mm. that, so they're responsible now, aren't they? Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, so that, 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 that's that good, that, you know, a good question. That tied in nicely because we were talking about the so. yeah. national standards. Well yeah. done. Good. <laughs> right. Fantastic. Brilliant. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to play this, the role of the learner and, um, you know, you remember like the health and safety stuff, like the pedals and yeah. okay. I ain't gonna put the seatbelt on, I'm gonna oh, forget, yeah. stuff yeah. like that. I'm a, bug I'm a little bugger of a pupil okay. when I yeah. role play. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to make sure you're on it, that you're yeah. doing what you should be doing yeah. and you are checking things, you know. So I might sure. not shut my door properly, so you'll yeah. drive off and go beep beep and like, yeah. oh God, damn yeah. it. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> he got me, he got me. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I am testing you a little bit, even though it's mm. not a test. You're not a test. It's no, the first okay. time you've done yeah, this. No, this, this um, mm. But you've got a solid plan and, and you want to yeah. run through it and you practice, like I say, with your wife. And Absolutely. Her. And yeah. she was a good role player. So, yeah. And you're still yeah. married. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Good, <laughs> good, good, good. Right, yeah. okay. So, yeah, so we can start whenever you want it to start. Oh, oh yeah. just also, I said, if you do forget something, yeah. I'd give you a little nudge to sort of say, well, yeah. why aren't you going to talk to me about so-and-so yeah. if you forget, just to help you if you if you need it. So in role, I can do that. And of course, if you want to come out of role, if you hit a thing, you can tell what, mine's got yeah. blown. Okay. Just say, yeah. out of role, and we'll, we'll recover. Yeah. And we can either help you demonstrate, go back in role, mm. do it again, whatever you want to do. Yeah, just, um, fantastic. I we'll just manage it like that. Okay. Good. Right. So, um, brilliant, Howard. You'll be pleased to know. Role, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Brilliant, Howard. You'll be pleased to know that we've only got to go outside once more in this rubbish weather, and that'll be when we change seats because you will be having a bit of a drive today. More yeah, of that in a little nice while. Is it raining? Windy. Isn't it? How are you feeling about this lesson ahead? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. A little, well, I'm looking forward to it. You know. I have been looking forward to this. Couldn't wait for my provisional to come in and, you know, yeah, and, and yeah, but apprehensive at the same time. Yeah. I don't want to mess it up. You know, no, I've not no. done it before, yeah. so I don't want to It's an exciting time. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's an exciting time. And what we'll establish very quickly is that I'm here to help you every step of the way. Oh, great. I, I don't want you to think that you'll be going into any situation without me having given you the the skills and the the knowledge to enable you to carry oh, yeah. out whatever that that oh, drive yeah, maneuver is so, yeah, yeah, just yeah, a quick thanks. just one or two quick health and safety things before we get started properly on the lesson you've obviously been passenger many times in in your parents car yeah. as as you've told me this car is slightly different first of all you'll notice some pedals down there oh yeah oh yeah go on. Now, right the first, the most important thing whilst you're, certainly whilst you're pastoring in this vehicle and I'm driving, never to touch them. That's really Fair key. Enough. Yeah. And just while we're talking about pedals, let's just run through just the very basics. So as you know what you've got down there. Yeah. Because it kind of reflects a little bit on what I've got down here I've as well. I've only got two. You've what got do you know three. about the pedals? Well, I know you've got like, an accelerator. Which one's that? Is that the one on the know? right? It is, it is, just here, yes. That's and right, then yeah. you got a brake. Yeah, which one's a brake? I'm guessing the middle. Brilliant. Middle it is, excellent, yeah. And the last one? And I know like, that's a clutch, okay. something to do with the gears. Yeah. We'll come back to the clutch. 
This is going to be a really silly question because I know you're already on it, but what do you reckon an easy way of remembering the order of the pedals down there? We've got accelerator, brake, clutch, something to do with the alphabet? Oh, A, B, C. A, B, C, that's really good, isn't it? What we've got, now we'll talk a little bit more about their functionality in a little while, but I just want you to be aware down here, what you've got, which, oh, which is why it's important for you not to touch them, is you've got a brake and a clutch. All right. The only so reason no, no accelerate. No accelerate. Yeah. yeah. Briefly, why? The, um, briefly, the brake and the clutch is when you're driving and you need some help. Yeah. That'll be part of the physical help that I'll be able to give you. Will be help with the braking and the clutch. Okay. So, yeah. We'll come back to the pedals and controls in a little while, but I just wanted to point that out because it's really important. Whilst I'm driving, that you don't. Don't yeah, no, my mum these. said that the instructions had dual controls. I, I did That's wonder, right, dual controls, did you know, yeah. I stupidly imagine there'd be a steering wheel here. <laughs> <but> I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because if you've, if you've been watching this Warren recently... <laughs> <laughs> I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he gets his people he gets, to, yeah. to We're not gonna do check that. his mirrors and signal and pretend to stay, yeah. I find that programme very, very funny. Don't worry. Yeah, Your I, experience today will yeah, be nothing I, like I did, that. I did think when I drive, you know, how many lessons would it take before I actually yeah. get to sit on that side? Well, you'll be sitting this side today, I promise. Oh, so. okay. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. So that's and good. And you're not going up the tip or anything? <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no. Good. We're not picking up any burgers at burger <laughs> shops or, yeah, oh, yeah. Good. None good. of that, no. We're, we're doing it very properly. I think one of the, the, the big things about your, your experience uh, with with how to with how to drive uh, with with me as your instructor, which uh, it will be very different from many years ago, is we're teaching you to drive safe for life, not teaching you to drive to pass your test. Yeah, my mum and dad they really said barely took like ten twenty hours. They yeah. passed. They, and, yeah. You know, when we phoned up to book. Um, they said it could be, you know, on average, it was about 40, 30, 40 It hours, is potentially, so, yeah. yeah. Different people learn at, learn at different paces. Some people learn quicker than others. I, I think the key thing is, as an instructor, I'll work with you to absolutely learn at your pace. I'm not going to rush you on, so you're only picking up half the, yeah, half no, the things, okay, yeah. pass your test, Get in a car for the first time and nearly crash, that's bad, isn't it? We you know, I want to be a good driver. I, yeah. If I really want to pass my test if I'm good enough, you know, yeah. I want to be safe. Yeah, definitely. That's, yeah, that's really important. So we've said about the pedals and in a minute, in a short while, we're going to be driving to a location where the main bit of the lesson will be. Yeah. And... As I drive to the location, I'm just going to be giving you a bit of an overview. I guess I want to talk through on some of the car control basics, such as basic oh. clutch control, okay, things like that. And I'll give you a lot more information as we go along. Lovely, yeah. So, where we're up to now then is just before we change seats. In fact, we're not going to do that tour over there. Rewind. All right, yeah. Sorry, confusing things. Just catching up with where I'm up to. Have so you're, I going to, you're going to drive me somewhere yes, than I have a Yes, sure, day. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think we're going to do that. Have I missed anything out? Just out of roll on the health and safety bit. Um, well, you cover the pedals. Yeah. Because we're not... I haven't got my seatbelt on yet. No, Or sure. just my head restraint. Um, yeah. Don't have the door shut, but there are things you could bring in. We'll check all that. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so just before we do get going to where the train is going to start, is your seat comfortable? First of all, are you in a reasonably comfortable position, and is your headrest kind of in the middle of your your, your ears and eyes? That's that's really key. Oh, well, this one easier. Yeah? Just slides up. That's and down. it. There, yeah. What in well, there? That's that. That looks about perfect. Do you know why it's so important to have this headrest in the right position? Is it to stop, like, neck injuries? It is. I think you may have heard it, heard it called whip cash if you've uh, 
Have you seen anything on the well, internet? Well, neither did my auntie. She did. She had a she had a little little prank, and um, she did manage to claim on her insurance. Her insurance people were quite aggressive in making a make a claim, actually. So. Yeah, well, they were. <laughs> she got paid. Which doesn't but seem yeah, right. Yeah, so I kind of knew what that. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, I've heard of that, yeah. Okay. Really, yeah. So your headrest is all done. Fantastic. If you can just make sure your door's closed for me, which I think it is, that's you can give it a little oh. bit of a pull. Pop your seat. Yeah, brilliant. Pop your seat. You're ahead of me. Pop your seatbelt on. I Fantastic. Just yeah. That's really good. Okay. Okay. Now. Whilst uh, in a minute we're going to discover there's a couple of uh, really important routines that we're going to mainly be basing today's lesson around. The first one being something called the cockpit drill. All right, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to expand on that in a little while. Yeah. What do you think the cockpit drill is? Well, I imagine that's like setting yourself up getting your seat it is exactly that and all so the other bits reach yeah. everything and i guess your mirrors as well i guess you do you like move. that's it yeah. i was my mum and dad they got two separate cars so when they swap yeah you know there's always like a little little routine they're going checking there moving the seat normally mumbling moaning yeah. but the mirrors are all in the wrong place yeah, and stuff. yeah. yeah so, okay oh your my your dad's been in here again and like you know gotta move it all back <laughs> so is that it Sort of it is that it is that and there are several things that you have to check and get right and of a really easy method for you to remember that which we're going to talk about in a little while all right the other part of the lesson that we're going to do is to you you will be you'll have an opportunity to practice moving off and stopping so you're moving off oh, driving drive. the car Ooh. and stopping yeah good yeah now i know the weather's a bit bad so we'll just have to be a little bit careful and there'll be one or two extra controls that i'll have to be that i'll have to mention to you today when we get over there that's no, well, the really, yeah, yeah that's it yeah, the various bits and pieces okay. but yeah. one of the main things i wanted to do whilst uh whilst we're heading over there and and starting now is just talk to you a little bit about first of all what these pedals do and a little bit of chat about the clutch control so first of all, this is going to be a really silly question, but I'm going to ask it because I can. What does the accelerator do? Well, it's like the go pedal. It is the go pedal. Yep. Spot on. The brakes. Stop. It Slow slows down. you and stops you. Brilliant. The clutch. Do you know what the clutch does? It's just something to do the gears. It's like, um, yeah, I think you push it down when you change gears. That's about all I know. It, it is part of it, definitely. What the clutch does is, if you imagine really rubbish weather, if, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking, talking over the loudness of the rain, if you imagine the the spinning engine, and if you just look at my hand a second, so the engine's spinning, yeah. and then you've got the, the gearbox, which is connected to the wheels. So you've got two plates. Okay. If you imagine this is the, this is the gearbox, this is the spinning engine, and the wheels are connected to this side. Of it. They are, yes, yeah. that's right, absolutely. When the when the clutch when the engine started, yeah. when the clutch is down, all the way down, those plates are together. When they're down, they're together. <laughs> When the clutch is down, yeah. the plates are apart. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So there's no drive. The the engines the engine's spinning, yeah. but there's no drive to the gearbox moving the moving the wheels around. Okay, yeah, yeah. When you So that's with the clutch down. Yeah. When you bring the clutch up, these plates move close together. Okay. When the clutch is up all the way, if you were to bring it up all the way, those plates move together, and because the engine is turning, if the car is in gear, and we'll talk about how the gears work in a little yeah. while, if the car's in gear, the engine turning engages with the 
gearbox to turn the wheels so the car won't go forward. Okay. Similarly, yeah. if it's in reverse, we're not going to look at reverse gear today, but if it's in reverse, the car's kind of wanting to go backwards when you lift the gear, yeah. when you lift the clutch up. Now, a little bit more information, perhaps if I use some, some cards in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, if I just uh, see if I can explain this. So, let's just think about this then. So, first of all, if we imagine that this is the spinning engine side of the clutch. Yeah. This is the this is the gearbox side. So with the clutch down, these these pads are apart. Oh, yeah. Oops. So the pads are apart. Whilst the clutch is down, you can select the gear. So we can go into first gear. Yeah. What is actually happening? If I give you these cards, these cards represent your gears. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it, we'll think of that top card as first gear. If you pass me first gear, just pop first gear in there. Yeah. Sit fantastic. So first gear's in. So as you, and the engine's off, the handbrake's on. So we know the car's safe at the moment, but I'll demonstrate a bit more. When you bring the clutch up, these plates come together with first gear engaged and it's just before the clutch comes up which I'll show you in a second these plates start to come together they start to bite something called a biting point I don't know right. if you've yeah. heard of that I'm going to show you yeah. demonstrate what it sounds like what it feels like in a second okay. now if we were to then bring the clutch all the way up with a handbrake off the car would want to go forward. Oh, okay. So it connects the engine to the wheels. That's right, absolutely. Okay. Now, to... Yeah, to... In order to then change up to second gear, yeah. pop the clutch down, which brings the plates apart. Okay. You've got to take first gear out, so take first gear away from me. Pass me second gear. Okay, one. We'll pop second gear in. So second gear, yeah. in effect. As we bring the clutch up, the plates come together. If the engine was on, the car would then want to drive forward. All right, yeah. So that's roughly how the clutch and the gears work. Now let's just explore that biting point a little bit more. Give me those cards back. If you yeah. Can... Sorry, if the other way around. <laughs> you give me the cards and I'll put right. them away. All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cut that bit. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to do is start the engine, but before I do, there are two key checks that you must carry out. Do you know what they are? What do you think you need to do? Pretty super. I just didn't know about that. Oh, no. The two key checks, because perhaps your, your parents maybe don't, or they might just do it automatically. Two key checks are to make sure the handbrake is on, okay. and the car's in neutral. Uh, neutral's not in a gear then. No, that's just, right, oh, that's yeah. right. Neutral's just just in the middle, not in a gear. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's good. Now, if the car was in a gear, let's just say if the car was in a gear and the handbrake was on, you start the engine up, what's going to happen, do you think? The car's going to lurch forward, it's going oh, to want to drive forward. I just think it'll stall. Oh. But the, the, the biggest danger of the car lurching forward is if someone's just walking in front of your vehicle you might knock them over which would just be yeah. really bad yeah that wouldn't be good would it yeah. even worse if your handbrake was off and you were in gear which is sometimes yeah perhaps if someone's parked on a hill and they forgot to put the handbrake on yeah the car's at the slant it would hold it on the gear but again when they went to start the car with the handbrake off, it look it lurch forward, oh, right, which again yeah. is really dangerous. Okay, so, so you check handbrake neutral. Handbrake neutral before you start the engine. Now, if uh, if you just have a look at the bit, this is called the binnacle or the main dashboard for the driver. Just have a look at this. When I turn the key once, once sorry, can you see all the warning lights come on and then most of them go off? Yeah. The one that stays on. In a minute okay so if I turned it again to start the vehicle yeah it gives me a, a it gives me a, a warning or a hint on the dashboard 
because in this car, did you see that? Let me just do it again. No. Press oh. clutch pedal. That's in this okay. car, the clutch pedal has to be all the way down. Uh, you can then start the vehicle. The oh, rest... so, you do, so you have a key? Oh, there is, yes. Good point. Because my mum's got like a yeah. piastre sh button up here somewhere. Yes, yeah, so, my dad has yeah. a button down here to start it up. Yes, yeah, some so of the this... Porsche cars do have oh, a button. Yeah, yeah, yeah my... Oh, it's not Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> it's good. It's Porsche. It's, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's an Audi. Yeah. So it is a key. That's oh, right. Yeah. And the key just goes what's called ignition here. Okay. Yeah. So in order to start it fully, foot down on the clutch, check handbrake neutral. Mm -hmm. Turn it all the way. Oh, the engine will start. Started. You can then lift the clutch up. Relax your feet. What you'll notice on the dashboard, all the warning lights go off apart from one, which is a circle with a couple of Do you know what that might be? P for parking, it's about the handbrake. All right. Just to okay. let you know the handbrake's on. All right, yeah. If I just put my foot on the brake at the moment, I'll just check it. What I'm going to do isn't going to affect anyone. Put my hand on the brake at the moment and release the handbrake. You'll see that P goes off. All right, yeah. Okay. What I would just like you to do is just to, while, you, while you're sitting there, obviously it's going to feel a little bit strange because it's kind of on the wrong side, but I just want you to just practice, just for me, just to get a feel of it, popping the handbrake on and off. So I'll put, pop my foot on the brake. Stiff. Okay, you... yeah, okay. What you need to do, that's okay. Really strong to get that one. What you need to do is, with your thumb, yeah, push that silver button in there. Look. How do you get it in there? I can't get it in. So you just need to slightly lift it. All right. And push it down, and I'll have my foot on the brake. All right. Well, lift it up and then push. Oh, okay. Now to reapply it, and I'm keeping my foot on the brake because obviously I've seen that. You just yank it on, don't you? That's what my mum does. What you mustn't do. Oh. And I'll just do it a little bit. It's pull it so it clicks. That's bad. That's it. Oh. Why do you think that is? I don't know. If My you don't, does yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> the what what you have to think no, about is whilst whilst this car is very new and you could probably do it five or six hundred times in this car and it wouldn't have it wouldn't have an impact. Your first car might be a little bit older. Yeah, and if the person, it's definitely not going to be new. Yeah, I know. No. It'd be some old beat up bloody Cleo or something. <laughs> if the previous owner has spent six or seven years yeah. of just yanking that on, you'll find your handbrake mechanism gives up and then you've oh, got a big bill on your hands. Oh, yeah, so okay, it's so really good practice button, to push that button, okay. push the button. Watch, have a go? Just have a go a so, couple of times. Oh yeah, no, that's it. Man. What we'll then do, oh, yeah, what we'll then do is when you're in the driving seat, I'll get you to practice that again, but just oh, to get yeah. for a little bit. Good okay, yeah, lovely. good. So we've done that. Brilliant. What we're going to move on to then now is a little bit about the clutch control just before we drive over to where we need to be. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to find out what this biting point's all about. Yeah, when the plates... That's right, yeah. Together with yeah. gear in it, is that what you said? Yes, so in terms of preparing the vehicle, and we'll go into this a little, in a little bit more detail when we're at our main location. Yeah. But what I'm going to do, I've checked the handbrakes on is in neutral, started the engine, clutch all the way down. I'm going to pop it into first gear, okay? Now, in order to get that biting point, what I'm going to do is very slowly, just uh -huh. really slowly, bring that clutch up just before I do it what you'll hear is there'll be a change in sound of the engine note okay there'll be a vibration that I can feel in my left foot and you'll experience in a minute there'll be a vibration as those two plates are just starting to come together okay and you might even be able to, f to feel it on the dashboard so I'm just going to lift the clutch up really slowly when I get to that biting point I'm going to keep my foot still, okay? So just lift that up now. Can you hear that change in engine mode there? Shall I do it again? It's hard with the rain, isn't it? Just do it again. Okay. 
Now it's vibrating, I'm not sure you can feel it on the dashboard. Well, you can feel it on the dashboard, can't you? Can you feel that? Just about. Let me just do it again. Oh yeah, no. There it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I can feel it. Sure. That. What's happening? The plates are coming together and they're just thinking about engaging to drive the vehicle oh, forward. Okay. Yeah, no, you can feel it. I can hear so, it, so yeah. Once you've got that yeah, I can driving it. point just there. Yeah, you can, you can feel Fibre, the yeah. fibre. Sure. The thing is, and I'll just pop it into neutral, is when you're driving, you you use um, most, or maybe at times, all of your senses. So you've got the feel of that vibration. You've got your hearing in terms of what other road users, oh, okay. what the road users are doing. If there's a, a siren or something, you, you've, yeah. you're obviously hope, you're hopefully using your eyes. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you just generally, it's a, it's an all round senses experience okay yeah That's so good. back to that biting point what i am going to do is drive to the training location and as i do i'm just going to talk you through some of the basic clutch controls and car controls is that okay Fantastic. Yeah. any questions at the moment Okay. No, I can't think of it. What I'm aware of today is that you, you might feel as if, if you'll excuse the analogy, I'm throwing you 40 tennis balls and you're only catching three or four. You, I'm giving you lots of information and it's perhaps hard to no, take no, it's it all fine. in. But I you're all right. The clutch and Brilliant. How okay. It works and Excellent. I understand the handbrake now and yeah. what the pedals can do. Sure. I'm just going to See? Okay, excellent. Yeah, we're all good. Okay then, so we'll drive over to the sunny, uh, <laughs> yeah. positively tropical training location. Now, if you were parked here, what way do you think we need to turn, left or right, and what's giving you that? Up that way. Yeah, so there's, there's arrows, although they're a bit faded, aren't they? Absolutely. Good. When we get to the top there, do you know what a triangle means? Give way. way. What does that mean? Give way. <laughs> give way. Why, why give way. So, just... Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, good. So, a yield? If I was yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Okay, right. So, I'm preparing the vehicle. Yeah. We'll start the engine. Foot down on the clutch into first gear. And we'll talk about gears in a lot more detail in the next lesson. But into first gear, okay. With my right foot, I'm just covering in the gas. It, accelerator. We refer to it as gas. It's just quicker to say. Oh, that's American. Yeah, it is a bit American, isn't it? But it's just easier <laughs> to say than accelerator. All right, yeah, yeah. We, we went say. on holiday in America, and all their signs were yield. Right, were they? Yeah. All right, yeah. Now, when I tell you to cover the gas, it just means to just hover your foot over the pedal and don't press it. Okay. Okay. In modern vehicles now, you don't even need to apply any gas once the hand brakes off and you've got the biting point the vehicle will just move forward under its own drive so it won't stall yeah. which is what I'm going to demonstrate now mm. so good we're in first gear clutches all the way down yeah I'm just going to all right all around us and get the biting point fear out once yeah, I'm happy it's all it. clear I'm not I'm not even, I'm not applying any accelerator at all. Oh, the clutch is all the way up now, and it's just naturally plodding along at five mile an hour. Slightly applying the brake, moving the clutch down and into first gear. Centre mirror, right mirror. And I'm gonna signal, because there's other road users, and I'm just gonna pause a minute because I'm talking to you. So now everyone around us knows that we're turning right. And I'm just gonna get that biting point again. Checking it's all clear all around, and then I'm easing the clutch up, not applying any gas at all at the moment. So we're just moving nice and slowly under the drive of the vehicle. I've got no clutch, uh, the, the clutch oh, is fully okay. up, and the vehicle's just moving forward. Okay, now pretty much when you do now, now I'm applying a little bit of gas. Look. Oh, yeah. Take the gas off, can yeah. you feel it decelerate? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. So what's that, D, D what? Decelerate, so it's, oh, right, it's yeah. yeah. Now, 
just watch what I'm doing with the steering. So I'm push, I'm pulling, I'm pushing with the left hand. Push. I'll come back to the steering. Okay, so now I'm just applying a little bit of gas. Yeah. Take the gas off, it decelerates. It might not be going down the hill. And as we're coming up to this junction now, I take my foot off the accelerator so it decelerates. Yeah. And I'm just going to cover the brake. I'm going to put the clutch down. Roll up to the line and just engage the brakes so the vehicle stops. Centre right mirror. I'm going to signal because there's a car coming to the left. There isn't. <laughs> there isn't. I made that, I made that up. <laughs> okay. Now. <laughs> okay. Now as I pull out, as I pull right. away, check my centre mirror. Cancel the signal. Yeah. Just applying a little bit of acceleration. Down here, isn't it? Straight ahead, just testing. Okay. I'm just checking to the right there. There is a cyclist coming around. We've got plenty of time. A motorcyclist. Set the left mirror. Just popping on a left signal. It's like that one. <laughs> mirror signal. <Yeah. laughs> Steering. And then oh, you got a mirror as well. Look. What I'm just going to do is set the left. Just pull up here on the left. Brake. Clutch down, into neutral, handbrake on, and then relax your feet on the pedals. Okay. So now that now the the vehicle is in a safe position. Yeah. I guess ultimately I probably want to be on the side of the road for the next part of the explanation. Don't I? Now, just for the purpose of our practice here, I know that there are double yellow lines there. What we'll do is I'll just spin it round and pull up behind that other car. But we don't need to worry too much about the double yellows here today because it's a very quiet road. You just wouldn't want to park here and leave your vehicle unattended. But So I'll just move off again. But what I just want to do again is talk you through this. I'm just looking at what he's doing. Right, so clutch all the way down into first gear. So I'm just going down here now. Where's he going? Okay. A lot of learners down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a popular road, definitely. Okay, so the so motorbike they're learning, is that, is that these yes, trucks? Yeah, there? absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They all stop on these yellow lines, don't they? Okay, yeah, so... You're allowed to park. You can stop for a short period of time, but you just can't leave the vehicle oh. unattended. Yeah. I might roll. Half roll, is that right? That's wrong, isn't it? Well, <laughs> just <answered> okay. wrong. <laughs> so yeah, so if, if, if someone was watching this, they might think, oh yeah, do you know what, part three, I know where I'll go, I'll go on your lines. And the examiner might be thinking, this is not a good place. <laughs> so we should clarify. Yeah. So yeah, we have got double yellows. And um, so, you know, your pupil might be confused, might they? Why I think I'm sure, like, they might now think, oh, you know, you can stop there because my instructor does that. Yeah. I'll be telling my mum, yeah, yeah, no, you can stop on these. Oh, yeah. You know, and I just want to, we just, because it's come up, we just want to make sure I understand yeah. what it means so I don't fall foul of that yeah. when I'm passed or give someone bad advice. Mm. So, yeah, so the question would be, what do double yellows mean? There you go, put you on the spot. Don't worry. So what, if you've got double yellows, what does highway code say? Or single yellow, let's go single yellow. What does a single yellow mean? You can, you can stop and drop off, but you can't yeah. So no waiting. No waiting, yeah. No waiting, single yellow line, no waiting at the times shown. On there be a sign, wouldn't they? Monday or Friday, yes. 9 to 5 or something like that. Yeah. So at the weekends you could, outside of those hours. So it's double, what does that mean? No parking at any time. No waiting. No time. waiting at any time. So what if they were red? What would that mean? Double reds. 
it's not good. <laughs> no stopping. But I will. Anytime. But I will know after this lesson. I'll go in. So if that is single red, no, no stopping, stopping at the time right. shown, and double red, no stopping at any time. These are not double reds, so we could stop, couldn't we? We could stop, but we can't wait. So now what? that's difficult, isn't it, to explain? But you, you've, what you've said to me, yeah, if we left our car here and went off and For went a two to hour work, meeting or something, whatever, yeah. Yeah, if we left our car here and went off to work mm, or yeah. whatever, we'd be in trouble. But yeah, we can pick up and drop off passengers, yeah. but not if there were no loading or unloading lines on the, yeah, um, the, on the yeah, footpath yeah. on the curb. So we'd be alright, it's just like sometimes, actually I don't know, yeah, no, I'm not going to start digging that hole, cause, but we can sit, we can drop off and pick up. So just to explain this area, we're in an industrial estate, a no through road, yeah. with turn, turnings, junctions to the right and the left, which are gated, there, yeah. there's open lands where they haven't, they're going to build something on it one day. Yeah. And um, the story of these shadow lines, there's a, a popular insurance company, well, um, I think said Norwich Union, Aviva. Aviva. But, and what their staff would used to do is park all over here. I see. And then they come down and put the yellow lines to stop that. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, in terms of this lesson, we're okay to yeah. stop and start. You, you've where we are now. You've pulled us into the layby, and we've, which again is gated, so it is like a layby. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of all right. It's one of the few places that I think you could do this lesson yeah. without. I mean, yeah, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to get into that because if people are watching this video, areas near their test centres, they might think, "Oh, I'll do that." Some guy on YouTube told me it was all right. Can you imagine him telling the examiner that? Be like, yeah. what? <laughs> what? what? Who on YouTube? What? Like, <laughs> read the essential skills. That, oh my god, that's what you're speaking. <laughs> Not bloody yeah, YouTube. Because I mean, yeah. <laughs> you could get some bad advice. Yeah, so, um, there you go. Yeah. But, so, we've where, covered that. <laughs> where would I have seen red lines? I'm not sure if I've ever seen red lines before. Well, major cities, London, right. central London, near Perhaps airports. That's why, because I don't go there very often. Anywhere yeah. where they don't want to stop. I mean, I couldn't imagine doing driving lessons in, in London because most of it is clear way. Must be, really. It's and, awful, um, it? you know, you've got the main road and then, then you turn left into side roads and as, as soon as you turn off to the main road into a side road, you, the double reds turn into double yellows. Right, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, really you'd have to go, so you could pull up and in the, on the yellows, yeah. couldn't you, there? Yeah. It must be really difficult in places in London where to go, you know. Where do you go? You know. So anyway, so um, okay. so right. we're very lucky here in yeah. rural Norfolk, and we've got this lovely area which is is pretty good for moving up and stopping because there's places at either end of this straight road to turn round yeah. quite easy without having to reverse. Yeah. And um, and the only people down here are learners, learners riders, yeah. learner cars. Big empty field, big empty field. Test centre's just behind us, it's beautiful. Fantastic. So, um, what is the building over there? Did you say it's a school? Dana School, that's oh. a data centre. Oh, right, okay. Right. Mm. That's a, that's, I think that's right. a bit. Yeah. Right. It's a government building. Right. It's a bit secret, I think. It goes on in there. Oh, right, <laughs> okay. Okay, right. Let's carry on then, good. What I'm just going to do, just to demonstrate a little bit more about that clutch control again, is I'm just going to pull out and pull up behind that car over on the right there. So I'm in roll, yeah, to side that, I'm in roll. Sorry, yeah, in roll. In fact, because I don't know how long he's going to be there, I might pull up just over here, so I'm facing that way. If I were you, I'd just what, what, stick what me there. there. I'd behind stick... this one? Yeah. Okay, sure. Or if the bikes go, which they might be, then go yeah. with your plan of the four and go up behind the chilled fella. But it depends what them riders are going to do. Yeah. They're doing little zigzags at the minute, little slaloms. Yeah. So we don't, yeah, we don't, we don't want to. That's their little area. They're, their way, they're basically yeah. doing circles, aren't they? Little yeah. figure of eights. 
And if we go there, they're, they're just going to think, oh yeah, cheers. Thanks cheers for that, asshole. So, oh, excuse um, me. <laughs> that bit. So we'll just stick it up behind. Yeah, okay. There, so then then we can do a bit of moving off stuff in that. Learner could be gone. If not, we'll have to go around. Okay. So, I'm just going to turn the engine off. So, or, or you could leave me here. Couldn't you? You've made it quite easy for me to get out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While we're talking, it's important to turn the engine off. Uh, so we're, you, we're back so. in roll then, yeah? Back in roll, yeah. It's important to turn the engine off. Can you think why that is? Um, to turn the engine off, what, when you're just sitting? When you just, when the engine's idling, yeah, and you're just having a chat. It, yeah, no, because we, we do a lot of this at school and college about the environment. You yes. shouldn't just be Yeah, no, absolutely. Room. That's right. That's exactly what it is. And Turn the lights off, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure, yeah. Now... Just before I start the engine, just remind me what are them what what are the two checks that I need to do before I start the engine. Handbrake neutral. Perfect. I'm going to pop the clutch down because you need that to start the engine in this car. And then I'm going to prepare the vehicle. So I'm going to pop the right hand on the steering wheel, clutch all the way down into first gear. I'm going to cover the gas not press it but cover the gas bring the clutch up till we've got the biting point i'm just watching what these other people are doing so i'm just going to just put the clutch down again so clutch up until we've got that biting point what's the wind screen what i'm doing rubbish weather so you can hear that biting point now i can feel it yeah yeah i just don't want to get in this cyclist way what are they doing Okay, got the biting point, fantastic. So, left hand on the handbrake, ready to go on the button there. Six point check all around. Center right mirror. I am going to pop a signal on, because there's a little bit going on in this road. And then I'm just gonna double check again, make sure it's clear. Lift the clutch up, you can feel the car just rolling forward. I'm just going to pull in. Why didn't they have the other cars? Why didn't you go and grab that spot? I will do, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. That's what I'd do. Yeah, no, then you got good a nice idea. long straight Yeah, definitely. Car. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. So now the clutch is all the way up. I'm applying a little bit of gas. Again, if I take the, the, the gas off, you can feel the vehicle decelerate. I'm just going to turn around here and get us facing that way. If you turn it around and back it right up. Yeah, brilliant. Then you've got, you've maximised your straight bit of road. So I'm just checking the mirrors. As we do this, full right hand steering on. Bear with me while I just get in position. I'm not going to talk to you very much at the moment about reversing because we're going to do that on a different lesson. So I'm just going to. Uh, get more just. So all the way back, so we've got a nice long, nice long bit of road. Working about there is pretty good. I'm just going to pop it into neutral and pop the handbrake on. Okay, good. Now, fantastic. What we're going to do now is I'm going to get you into the driving seat. But just before we do, a couple of really important things to you to uh, talk to you about. I'm just going to take my seatbelt off. You, you, you can do the same now. That's fine. The vehicle's secure. I just want to talk to you about a safe exiting and entering the vehicle. If you were to, you've been a passenger in a car many times, if you were to exit the vehicle from the passenger seat, where would you generally look? Down the side. What? In the mirror. Just in that mirror? Yeah. Do you think that, that if a cyclist was coming along and let's say if you just look behind you at that corner of the car there there's a really big it's called the the a pillar a really thick a pillar in fact yeah you can see it that side as well if the cyclist was just behind that a pillar would you see him just looking in that mirror probably wouldn't would you do no, you know have to look over there to see him. but if he was coming down this side of the vehicle all right 
if he was on our yeah. side of the road, about to pop in between, not that there's enough space, but maybe he's on a pavement even. Yeah. He's on a sort of pedestrian. Yeah, I reckon. Perhaps you would. But there there are areas around the car that just that mirror wouldn't show you. Do you know what them areas are called? Yeah, the, heard of something called a blind spot. Oh, right, okay. So what you must do as well, which we'll look at, when we're in the driver's seat as well, is look over your left shoulder. Oh, I've it. So, just oh, yeah. twist. Now, there's, there's something else which will help you to do that before you get out of the vehicle. Yeah. And it's something you can do on the left or the right side. We'll talk about it briefly when you're in the driving seat. But it's a particular method of opening the door. All right. Because if I just looked in my looked over my right shoulder, so I've got nothing in my blind spot. But let's say it's a really windy day. It is. Which it is. It, it is. conveniently it is. Nearly lost the door when I got in. Right, I? that's it. So if I've just got hold of it there, yeah. and I opened it, potentially there's a lot of travel in this arm. Uh, so the door, if I didn't have Well, proper, normally I just do it like that and push it my elbow. Let's give it a nudge. It, and if you just did that and the wind caught it, Oh yeah, no. Blow, it, yeah, could, blow, it, blow could, it could, it could, it could. That's it. Blow up its hinges. And back in uh, 19, 1988, my first car, which you won't have heard of the car, but it's something called a green mini metro. Fantastic, it was. You won't have heard of a green mini metro. But I did exactly that. Young driver, just just opened it, nudged it with my arm. The cars were virtually made of tin foil. The door folded back on itself, and it didn't the door. Oh, right. <laughs> I was gutted. I was gutted. The cars are made a bit better than that now, but what you wouldn't want... Do it out of roll, because yeah, as you share that, you know you're talking about handbrake neutral and what happened. Well, another true story, because we, we passed the same year, like yes, 87, right. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> when I passed, I had a little Ford Escort. And, um, we parked on my driveway, yeah. so I'm parked on the driveway, and before I've um, passed my test, I used to go out with the keys and start it up on, yeah. on our driveway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one day, it's in gear, isn't it? So I start it, and I'm, uh, this is, I am not joking, I tell all my pupils this about the handbrake <laughs> neutral, because my stepdad, old John, he's got his brand new Toyota yeah. Corolla yeah, right, yeah. in front, this white thing, brand new. And then I've started it, and the car lunged forward, and it hit it. Jeez. <laughs> and he was a big fella, wasn't John? <laughs> <laughs> Giant fella, he was. <laughs> it dented my car, put a great right. big bloody dent in the bonnet. His car was all right after Jeez. I scraped off the green paint from my car off his car. Jeez. And um, yeah, handbrake neutral. Good idea. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> so uh, all this stuff, yeah. there, yeah. take it from us. <laughs> this is all true. We've been there, haven't we? No, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. so um, that, Very that, funny. that made me laugh when you were saying that. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, I had the similar thing. <laughs> Very funny, fantastic. Anyway, so right, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm in roll, right, go right, back in. In terms of exiting the, exiting the vehicle, there's something called a Dutch grip, which perhaps sounds sounds a bit odd, but... Dutch grip. But I have heard that they're thinking of writing it back into the, of writing it into the new latest copy of the Highway Code, potentially. Mm -hmm. Let me explain what it is. Instead of just getting your, your hand, clipping that and knocking it open with your elbow, Yeah risking the door flying open maybe in the path of uh, or yeah, you know, damaging or your car or hitting somebody else yeah by using your opposite hand to get hold of the handle yeah it naturally forces you to turn and look over your blind spot oh, I see. as you release the the catch the door's got much less, much less travel to I go. See, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, that's and you've a lot more chance of lose, not losing the door. Of not losing the door. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Okay. We'll practice that. Got like this. We have unfortunately got to get out of the car as bad as the weather is. Yeah. Yeah, unless we want to do an old war on ice. Pretend. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're not going to do it like that. <laughs> what we're going to do, I'm going to, before we do it, because the weather's so bad, uh, well, I'll do this anyway, is I'm just going to move the seat right back so that you've got plenty of space to comfortably get into the vehicle. And then we're going to get you set up to make sure your driving position is all correct, something called the cockpit drill. And then you're going to have a little drive. So, Magic. Okay. All right, yeah, good. So, so if you're ready. All them bikes gone now, it's all quiet. It's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Let's see where this fellow's going. Yeah. He's going up there. So get hold of your door in the correct way. Make sure you check over your blind spot. And we'll just swap the seat. Oh, damn me. Rough than a rough day. Well, it's a bit muddy down here, just be careful. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll, I'll be careful in terms of the carpet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a step. Nice place. Okay. Fantastic. Good. So, you're, you're, you're in, is it? Right. Nice. Fantastic. So, you are in the driver's seat. Is it your first time in the driver's seat? Yeah. Well, well driving. I've, I mean, obviously as a kid, you do. Yeah, but yeah sure, okay. Fantastic. I mean, I've, I've sat mm. when I was a kid in the car park, I've sat on my, yeah. my dad's lap having a bit of steering when we were down near the beach once, but yeah. I ain't driven properly. Maybe a Probably Playhouse sat, steering wheel? Really. Playhouse yellow <laughs> plastic <laughs> steering wheel? That's it. No, maybe not. Perhaps that was my traumatised childhood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, no, I haven't... I haven't uh, Okay, we're going to look at something called the cockpit drill, which is all about. Can I just, about... yeah. just come out a roll Please, for a yeah. second? Just because there's a thing I I got away with yeah. there. Okay. How how did I get on with getting out of the car? Did I do a good job? I didn't want you to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy <laughs> thinking about no. getting where. Oh, well, right. Just a clean glass. Swap yeah, sorry. Yeah. Nice. No, um, <laughs> and actually saying that. Look good accessory to have for yeah. your learners because you might not wear glasses, but a lot will. Yeah, right. And that's not how I, I have a few of them. Yeah, and they get in the car. That's a nice, nice touch. Right, tissues in there for if they fail and burst into tears. <laughs> God, <bloody. laughs> yeah, there was a post, wasn't there, on the support <laughs> group yesterday, I think, about some one of the instructors, someone had burst into tears four times in a lesson or something. Yeah. <laughs> but it can get emotional, and that's just the instructors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh and um, yeah, it's, uh, san san what do you call them? Wipes. Oh, I've not baby wipes. Bought a thing of those. Already you know, bought a thing of those in the back of the car. Little sanitizers. Yeah. Get yeah. your steering wheel because yeah. it's all sticky and clammy after yeah, a lesson. Yeah. No, I, no, I've already bought some of them. Things for glasses. Yeah, yeah no, that's a good idea, that, definitely. You know. Yeah. But don't give them any medication. Don't give them, you know, these, what they do. There's, they a, there's, a, there's a herbal them. sort of drug you can give them for oh, tests or they can take tests. Don't, don't, don't give them any stuff like that. Well, you wouldn't do. Or would tablets, you paracetamol, isn't it? Because that would be a bad idea. You wouldn't idea. do. No, no. Blimey, no. So, um, no. yeah, anyway. So, um, Getting out the door. What did I miss? Well, I just didn't do it. I just watched did you. you. Just yeah. do that if you like. I watched yeah. you doing it. Lovely. Right. And I just looked at you and went, just oh, yeah, okay, no, missed that. So, and I only did that, not to be, oh, I'll ignore him, I'm yeah. a naughty pupil. Yeah. Just to, to say I can get away with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if it's like Little Britain. Yeah. You know, the guy in the wheelchair. Yeah. Turn your back, I'll be <laughs> off making a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you just got to watch me. Because you, how would you know if I did that well or not? You yeah. just wouldn't. So that's why I did it. And yeah. um, and uh, yeah, other things because there was there's hazards in there. There's where we've pulled up. It is muddy. It's there isn't a footpath on there. No. If I could mm. trip up, I'd yeah. I'd sort of just say that just be careful. Okay. And no, I'd even course. say like I've parked a little bit away from the curb so you can walk up the yeah. side because of where we are. Of course, because so it's really that's safe. That's important. Yeah. Suppose because of where we yeah. are. Mm. It's it's kind of yeah we've literally got a mound of earth behind yes. us with a field yeah they've just the road Perfectly just ends same, yeah. Yeah. so um it's good good for this moving up the lessons the moving up stuff lesson so um yeah just keep an eye on me and what yeah. way what ways around the vehicle should I go should I oh. go to the front or the back the back because you're more visible I've got to mention that that's so, it and yeah. again in this situation we're mad, but we're teaching them yes these things yeah. so yeah so I'd cover it drive safe for life yeah. 
of course I didn't so yeah so just 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 that really yeah and um and I guess just the other thing whilst now you're practicing going through that when we got to there from the car park when we first pulled up because we came and roll that was 30 minutes so we've that's quite a lot of you know that could be done in about 10 minutes right clutch what it does i'll show you some steering yeah okay. get them in there yeah. so it's good stuff i'm yeah. learning stuff yeah. but because of like that people wants to get driving yeah definitely right sooner you know because we're i know we've come out and roll in that but yeah. i reckon we're a bit at the 45 minute stage at this point and okay I'm like, and i haven't done my cock grip drill yeah. yet or what or I had to go to the controls, or I hadn't briefed when I'm moving on to stop it. But I always make it my thing. It takes practice, but when I pick, got a new learner, from picking them up to going to the location, I'm thinking 30 minutes, they're driving. Right. Okay. They're having a go. Yes. Yeah. When I first started, it was more like 45 minutes. Yeah. But I think we'd be on schedule for the over the hour mark before I get yes. going. Yeah, and sure. they'd be like, Mm. You know, yeah, they of just be aware of that, yeah. and it will come with practice. Very but sound they advice, do, yeah. they do want to have a go, and we can. Yeah, you know, you've got them for forty hours, so there's some of this other stuff. Can, yeah, you know, come in. It's good that you're doing it, and that, but it can be. I think in my little demo demonstration, mm. I, I'd like to think I've just condensed that. Yeah, a sure. Bit when I've, you know, because you've seen that demonstration. Yeah. Um, that it's quite brisk and to the point and, and um, they're like, yeah, 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 get that, right, and then they're having a go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, just timings. So okay. anyway, because of timings, I better shut up. There you go. No anyway. worries. So anyway, right, so good you put a seat back, that was a good touch, yes, so okay. I've got it nice and easy. So, yeah. Actually, no worries. Okay, so we're going to go through the cockpit drill, get you set up in the vehicle. Yeah. There's a very easy way to remember that, and it's D triple S M. So D S S S M, D triple S M. Okay. Let's have a look at the first D, and that's all to do with the doors. Oh yeah. So we have to make sure the doors are shut. Yeah. What do you think we could do to make sure the doors are shut? Give them a wiggle. Give them a wiggle. That's it. If it's only half shut, there's going to be a rattle. Oh in yeah, there. yeah, of course. So that's a bit Norfolk on the camera. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Straight face. Right. Okay. Good. Yes. What other way could we check that the doors are secure? You could look in the mirrors to see. If That's it. They'd be up. flush, wouldn't they? One more way as well. Just look at the dashboard. Ah, yeah. Wouldn't like the dashboard. Yeah. So yeah. So that's good. So that's the doors safely secure. The next. Thing that we need to look at is the seat yeah it's important that's in the right position there's a few areas of adjustment that we need to go through the first one is the distance you are from the pedals do you know how to move the seat backwards and forwards that's it yeah there's, oh, yeah. there's that's a bracket down there one. so just yeah. move yourself forward that's it now what you want to be able to do is to put the clutch all the way down yeah Still with a slight bend in, in your knee. If you feel like you're reaching miles, then you still need to be a little bit closer. So a slight bend in your knee with the clutch all the way down. Like that. Okay. Another little check you can do in terms of closeness, although we'll come onto the steering wheel in a little while, is just reach out straight with your hands and just check you can pop your the, the bottom of your wrists on the top of the steering wheel. Now, you can, but to me, while you're doing that, you can relax, relax your arms now. The next thing we need to alter is something called the rake of the seat, so the back of the seat. Oh, now, yeah. maybe, perhaps... How is it called a rake? The rake. Oh, yeah. Perhaps you've seen some of your mates that are kind of driving like they're in some kind of sports car and they can hardly see over the dashboard. We're not going to do that. It's not safe. Oh, yeah. oh, we, need no, to, no, no, we need to have a good driving position. So, down to... That's it. I think perhaps you've already found it. Down to yeah. the left there's a little wheel so just get that rake altered so you can with your back on the back of the seat just reach out and pop the top of your wrists on the steering wheel not quite no so you might just need to be a little bit up more that's good oh no that's okay. perfect fantastic okay the next thing you might want to adjust is the 
the height of the seat and again there's a lever just to your just to your left oh, you, thing. Oh, which yeah. you can have up and down now, now ideally you need to have a you need to have a completely clear vision over the steering wheel into about the center of the windscreen which i think you have last thing to adjust is the headrest oh yeah we, we've already spoken about whiplash etc and that's it just in the middle of your ears and your eyes that's good fantastic so yeah. that's the seat all done cool the next thing we'll look at is the the steering wheel i, think, I saw you doing that yes this good. Thing, Go on. yeah spot on that's it now uh, in terms of the height you want to have clear vision of all these instruments here yeah that's bad that's a bit blocked before i can see clearly now if it was too high it'd be up here and it'd be uncomfortable on your wrists and you get arm ache that's about right though for you, I think. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. What you can also alter on the steering wheel, if you needed to, which I don't think you do, I think you're in a good position, but you can move it forwards and backwards, uh, backwards and forwards, Ooh. sorry. Oh, yeah, that's great. So you can get completely comfortable with it. Oh, that's good. Once you're there, just, just make sure it's locked in position, that's good. Yeah, okay. Also, steering wheel. Okay, so the next thing is the yeah. seat belt. That's oh, the yeah. next thing we need to put on. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. You've obviously done that before. That's really good. Just, I a, don't, few, just a few times. Don't need to tell you how, yeah. how to put a seatbelt on. I don't think my on. mum would let me go anywhere without that. So we've done the doors, the seat, the steering wheel, doors, seat, steering wheel. What have I forgotten? Don't tell me. You said the three S's and an M. Doors, seat, steering wheel, seat belt, that's one isn't it? Seat belt we've done, fantastic. So the last thing that we need to do is to get the mirrors lined up. Mm. Just before we do, do you know about the different glass in the mirrors? Probably not. No. If you were to look at look at that that green car behind us in that mirror. Yeah, I see it. And then look at the green car behind us in that mirror, can do they look different? Different distances. Can I move this mirror so I can't? Yes, definitely. Oh, good point. Yeah, good point. Good to see as well. You're not putting your fingers on the glass. Oh no! When you wear glasses, you, you don't yeah. touch your lenses. Note to <laughs> self to do the the glass explanation after you've adjusted the mirrors. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that green car now. Yeah, fantastic. And in there. What oh, this this thing looks a good thing. What you'll I notice. Can see it like that. What you'll notice is, and we'll pretend we've adjusted the mirrors, we'll come back to that in a second, but what you'll notice is that in that mirror it, it looks further away. Ask me. Don't tell me. No. Let thank me you. work it out. This yeah. is the problem I need to look at. Yeah. Okay. So ask me. What's the difference when you look at it in there that's doing there? And the other thing is yeah. how wrong. Yeah. You can't come in my space. Fine. What did I do? Sorry. You were pointing through there, you Oh, was I? Oh, okay. Sorry. So I'm like, oh, he okay. touched me. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, thank you. Right. It's, it's a, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I understand. It's completely. like an invisible yeah. glass. Yeah. You're only allowed in for safety if you have to grab the wheel yeah, and keep okay. it safe. Otherwise, it's no, no touchy. No, no, no touchy. Absolutely not, no. Didn't know did, but no, fine, yeah. <laughs> not that you did yeah, touch no. me. No, no, that's right, yeah. But you're in yeah. my space. Yeah, okay. And that could make someone feel uncomfortable. Feel uncomfortable, yeah. Due to their yeah. background no, or I understand, their yeah. religion or. Yeah. or other things okay what can you see in the sorry the what do you notice about the difference in how the vehicle the green vehicle looks in your driver's mirror and how it looks in the center so mirror closer in this one yeah than that one fantastic do you know why this one's magnified it's the other way around that one's convex what this one that one that one's Sorry, that one's convex, yeah. so it makes it the vehicle's further away. This one is flat mm. glass. How is it? Oh, well, so that's, that's, so, well, that's true image. That's the true image, that's right, really? yeah. That's the true oh, I already image. thought that was that one. Yeah. Okay. So if you just turned around now, if you can just look out there, you can see the green vehicle is the, the same distance. It's the, yeah, yeah, it's the true same. image, yeah. so yeah, yeah, good. Back to adjusting the mirrors, which we'll do first before <laughs> glass oh, uh, Rewind. <laughs> Well, I just cut and paste that with a switch. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Brilliant. Okay. No, no one knows. <laughs> so we'll start. 
<laughs> we'll start off by adjusting the centre mirror. Okay. What you want to do is to frame that rear mirror, and I've got a got a picture here for you to look at just to explain what to do there. Oh yeah. So which I, I think you might have already done. I've, yeah, yeah I can good. See all the the back of the window. That's the fantastic. Top of the bottom, just okay. like that picture. Yeah. yeah. Now we'll do the driver's mirror, and you'll notice on the armrest on the driver's door. So that was my mate. He's having uh, lessons too. All right, That's fantastic. How many lessons has he had? Um, more. The pace started about three months ago. So he's is he doing well? I think so. Yeah, good. He didn't pass his theory yet though. So. Oh, he ain't right. going to get onto his practical, is he? Yeah, no, not until he's past that, no. <laughs> he ain't taking sure. it yet. I'm sure he'll pass. Anyway. Fingers crossed. Driver's side mirror, okay, so on your on your armrest, you'll notice just above the two window switches there, just that above one? that, there's a little joystick. If you turn oh, yeah. it to the right, and then move it up and down. Oh, yeah, 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 moving. What you're looking for, if, you, if it helps, just look at this picture, oh, right. is you're just looking for a little bit of the car down the left-hand side of the, of the mirror. And then the, the horizon coming through the centre of the mirror there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once you're happy with the position of that. Yeah, that's good. Let's go like that, yeah. Brilliant. Once you're happy with the position of that, turn the joystick to the right and do the same adjustment oh, yeah. on this it needs here. To come up a bit. So a bit of car. A little bit of car. And yeah. the horizon coming through the centre of the mirror. Yeah, that's got it. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Fantastic. Great. So that's the mirrors done. So that's pretty much the cockpit drill complete out of roll would you go through one or two basics of the controls in relation to the weather conditions i think you'd need to well yeah we'd need to know where the window wipes yeah are. Like, but we can fast forward that fast forward that yeah okay because i'm just aware of time we've been going yeah hour and a half we really Blimey. not recording but we, flies. We, yeah, met, sure. we met at one don't we and it's like two sure and and I'm sure you're you're keen to get me <laughs> moving off. Yeah, so you definitely. Can practice. Okay. The moving off. Right. Stuff. So now we're going to. So you, well, before we go, yeah, let's go talk, so I've done my copper gel. Cool. Now about the controls, because I would just make sure that they've had a go at finding the bite point. Yes. So they can feel it. Yeah. And um. And so, I've done that. So later, when you say, look, with your left foot, get the bite point and keep your feet still, I'll yeah. just be able to do that. Yeah. So we are say I've had a little go, I've pressed the gas, I know I've got to press that gently. Yeah. And that makes the car go fast. So I know the brake works on all four wheels. I know that it shows the brake yeah. lights. Mm -hmm. I know that you want me, when you press the brake, that you want me to touch it in yeah. millimetre mm -hmm. to show the brake lights and not to press it hard, because we could yeah. get a rear end. Yeah. So, because you want to cover all that, the handbrake lights and just the rear brakes at the front, the yeah. brake lights, only to be used once we're stationary. Because yeah. people watching that video will say, oh, wait a minute, they, 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 the detail's not in there. And this is why, you know, if you think you've got to add that detail on top of what you've already said, now that briefing's getting longer, is, this it? is why yeah. it needs to be quite, like mm. with the, the yeah. Five point in that clutch demonstration, just nice and quick. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that will come with practice. Yeah. Because we do want the detail, but we just want to not rush through it, but it can be brisk. Yes. That's all I would say. Sure. That will come with practice. Yes. It will. So, um, so I know that. And now, if you give me a briefing on Tom yeah. moving off, mm -hmm. stopping MSM, the member going. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to start to talk about moving off and stopping. The first uh, part of it to do with moving off is something called the POM routine. Alan's, but did you have a chance to watch the video on moving off and stopping? Don't don't worry, that's fine. No, sorry. So POM that we're going to look at stands for prepare, prepare the vehicle to move. Okay. Observe, so all round observations, and then move, move the vehicle. I see. Off you Prepare, go. Prepare, observe, move. Prepare, observe, move. Okay. So thinking about prepare, there's Did, a... Actually, just a yeah, bit of a thing, just because I should have told you, like, my learning style, I'm a very, I like visual things. Yeah, Do so you have, like, little pictures and things you want to show me? Because when I see things, that are yes. mm, Yeah, sure, yeah. So have you got your... Oh, yeah. Because um, that's another thing, out roll, that people will think, well, what about the visual? If you haven't got it, 
I'll have it in the boat. I'll just say I've got it in the boat. I don't yeah. really want to okay. go and chuck it out. <laughs> but let's just say for argument. Like, you know with the triple SM, yeah. if they've got a picture and it's like, of course. now that's going in eye candy and it's like yeah. it's going, oh mm. yeah. So I'm hearing it. Yeah. But I'm seeing it as well. So Maybe I think, oh, one yeah, of the I can really see early... that now. The trap yeah. SM's going in. One of the real early questions then, perhaps just a little bit about learning styles, really early on. Yeah. How, we do, you, how do you normally learn? Yeah. We can give a little questionnaire. Yes, I have seen that. Actually. You could do, I mean, rather than hit them hard with stuff, you can sort of say, end the first lesson, look, got a little questionnaire there. Fill that in next time I see it because I just want to determine what your preferred learning mm. style is, whether you're visual or yeah. whatever. Well. But fill it in and then they'll probably know what you're on about because that's how I do this at school. They, yeah. all, the, all the teachers, they want to know what my learning style is. So they might be very familiar and they might just tell you, oh, I'm a visual learner, kinesthetic learner. I like doing, I know I know how I learn because that's how education's going yeah. is that, you know, we're in yeah. tune with client-centred you know, learning and um, so I might already know what type, how I learn um, but yeah. some won't most won't I guess and uh, you could discover it yeah and then it's like oh right so yeah I'll best way to with you is to show you visual aids and yeah let you get yeah. doing it sooner mm -hmm. yeah I like doing anyway so yeah sure. so that's just yeah okay so let's say that's got in POM P-O-M yeah okay fantastic oh no, no it hasn't got in yet have you no, you've only done P. No, shit, where are you up to? So I've, just, I've told you, uh, just had a mind I've told you about to? prepare, observe, move. Now we're about to look at preparing a bit more detail. Thank you. Fantastic. Right, so in terms of preparing the vehicle, what you need to do is your first two safety checks before you start the engine. Just remind me what they are. Handbrake neutral. Handbrake neutral, brilliant. Start the engine then. Do it now. Yeah, good. I have to put the Yeah, you do. Spot Turn on. the key. Turn the key all the way to the engine. That's it. Fantastic. Now, keep the clutch down. I've got a question. Yep. In a car park, you said look out for warning lights. Yes. Yeah, you got your seatbelt on. Thank you. You got spotted. <laughs> well, you know, I only got to tell me that something once. And Spot I was on. Just like, Fantastic. Oh, Incredibly observant. That's that's the level. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to help you out there. <laughs> no, we're looking for. Brilliant. Right. So let's let's carry on then and prepare the vehicle. So pop your clutch all the way down. Okay. And just using your palm, just move it up into first gear. We'll do more about gears in the next lesson. Like that. Perfect. Yes. But on good. Lightly bring the clutch up till you get that biting point. You remember how to do that. Excellent. Right hand on the steering wheel. What just just say? drop the clutch a little bit more. Mm. Did it still get it? Mm. Outer roll, what's the key word you've got to tell me? Once I get to the bite point, more Keep your feet still. Keep your feet still. Yes, okay. Right. So get the biting point. Good. Keep your foot still. Right hand on the steering wheel. Left hand on the handbrake. Fantastic. Now you are ready to go. That's the vehicle ready to go. The next is the O observations. Am I, am I really ready to go? Oh, God. Where's, where's my right foot bit at this point? Covering the gas. All oh, right. What well, else? Oh, oh, okay. Right foot covering the gas. Not pressing it, but covering it. Okay. okay. Fantastic. You're now ready to go. So the next O is all round observations. So you need to look over your left shoulder into your left blind. Spot. All right. Okay. In your left mirror. Ahead, centre mirror. Yeah. Right mirror, right blind spot. Is it safe to oh, go? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Not just yet. That's okay. Hanging. We'll just hang on and see what they do. Should I put my wipers on. Pop your wipers on. Yeah. Good. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And the real one. Yeah, brilliant. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. Right, good. Okay, so all round observations again then. Six point observations. Six point? Oh, is that six point? Six observations, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, all good. Is it safe and clear to go? Uh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so now you can just check your, just check your right mirror again. Release the handbrake. And then gently bring up the clutch, very gently. 
Very gently. The clutch should be all the way up now. Center of your lane. Fantastic. Right hand, uh, left hand on the steering wheel. Both hands on the steering wheel. And we're just going to. I've not told you how to stop. <laughs> you don't know how to oh. stop. <laughs> so right. we're going to die. We're going to die. There's a, a very quick funny story. If you just <laughs> pull up over here, sorry. Do you want me to roll? Out of roll, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Well, let me. Well, let yeah. me. If I'm out of roll. When I. When I did oh, this I with here. Carolyn the first time, I did exactly oh, this. I'll go round and back. Yeah. I just swing it round. So. When I did this with Carolyn, I did exactly the same thing, and we were on an, an old bit of, uh, bit of, what do they call it? A Tippenham Airfield strip. So it's a completely neutral area. All right, yeah. <laughs> but I told her to move off, and she was heading towards a ditch, and <laughs> I told her to stop. <laughs> so obviously, I. I I stopped the vehicle and then d realised that that's uh, I need to tell you how to stop. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I've Actually, just, now they've gone, I'll get into that spot. Uh, just done it a second time and it won't it won't happen a third on my shift, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm conscious of the time. Sorry, but yeah. Anyway. So did, uh, did you just feel rushed then? Is that why you think you did it? I think so, know? definitely. Just yes. so if we go over definitely. time, don't worry. Definitely. Just um, yeah. we'll get it. Yeah. So if you're feeling rushed, just think. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, so we started as a as a briefing on prepare. Yes. What it was. And then we kind of went light. I come out of roll, and you kind of gone back into it. And then we've sort of missed the briefings, haven't right. we? Okay. So because I was thinking, um, I haven't done had a, the six course, point check yeah, and course. the observation. But uh, while I'm doing that, I'm having to keep my foot really still for quite a long time. Because if your legs aching by that and, point, yeah. okay. and if I'm if that's new to me, I might not be able to do that or lose no. concentration. Just bring the clutch up and yeah. stall, and of course. And you think, so yeah, so do the briefing, prepare what yeah. that is, explain it, the explanation, yeah. observe, how you're going to observe. Talk about that, yeah. Mm -hmm. How you're going to move, that the handbrake will come off, the clutch will come up, so the gas will go on. We might consider a signal, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right, yeah. And then of course, then we're going to have to stop, so mm -hmm. I'm going to get a briefing on there, mirror, signal, yeah. manoeuvre, what I'm going to do on my feet, yeah. and then to do it. So let's just do that bit again. I'm going to put the ignition on so we've got a bit of yeah. ventilation so we don't steam up. Um, really, Mr. Mike, come in here. So if, rather than just, you didn't do this, but rather than just put them on. Yeah. They, but say to your learner, it's a learning opportunity to say, look, it is raining. You did say earlier we'll have to cover some extra controls. We yeah. will. Lights, stuff like that. Demisters. Fantastic. So are, are we at the point where I've done the briefing and we're now going on to the practical? Or, or well, are do doing wanna, the observation do you bit of the give briefing? Me, I think the briefing and the talk through kind of go hand in hand. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so do the briefing on POM stopping yeah. and then talk through. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And then that would probably take us the time. Don't worry if you go over, don't rush it. Just think, mm -hmm. like, just think how are you going to do this? So, um, okay, so you've introduced POM, you yeah, can, or you can just introduce POM now and start from okay. POM now. There is a routine to help us to move the vehicle off and start to drive, and that is <laughs> distraction. distraction. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> the routine is called POM, and POM stands for prepare, observe move Apparently, okay so just looking at prepare first of all what we need to do is do our first safety check which you know is the make sure the handbrakes on cars in neutral clutch down start the engine keeping the clutch down put the car into first gear yeah. Find the biting point, so just lift the clutch up slightly until you get to the biting point. Oh, yeah, we had a go at that when you took yeah. that. Yeah, keep your feet still. Yeah, we had a go at that, yeah. Keep your feet still at that point. Yeah. Keep your feet still. Good. Right hand on the, your right hand then goes on the steering wheel, your, your left hand goes on the, the handbrake, yeah. and then you're ready to go. Next bit is the observations. Did you say about my right foot? Right foot covering the gas. I didn't, no, thank you. 
Oh, right, why would that be a problem if we drive off and we're foot on the carpet? And you say, just squeeze the gas, and I go like that. You could lurch forward, or you could potentially pull off too slowly and risk getting rear-ended, or... Oh, I hit the brake. We hit the brake, but we have all sorts of chaos. Of course, yeah. So, um, of course. I panic. Yeah. Cat runs out, Woo! slam yeah. on the gas, you weren't meant to break the brake. Squash the cat, yeah. Just, we go off like a rocket, because <laughs> I'm panicked. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I could be easily spooked, like a jitty horse. I could be like yeah. that, right? Like one minute you think, oh, now I'm off, Christ, like, whoa. Yeah. So you want to have that control of where my feet are. Yes. Would you, and you wouldn't drive down the road with your foot resting no, on No, you wouldn't. So, and why? Because you want a quick reaction yeah. on that brake if something happens. Yeah. yeah. So Definitely. you're always, like, on it. So anyway, so yeah, so all okay. four limbs have a job. Left yes. foot bite, right foot gas, left hand hat brake, right hand steer wheel. You are yeah. prepared. Yeah, good. So we've done that, right, and then... Fantastic, observe. okay. Next is the six observations. So the first thing you need to do is look over your left shoulder for your left blind spot. Yeah. Left driver's side mirror. Centre mirror. Is that the driver's side? Left driver's side. Oh, yeah. Left passenger side mirror. Okay. Yeah, got it. I promise it will be completely polished by the time yeah. next Monday comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Right. Left passenger side mirror, centre mirror straight ahead. Yeah. Right driver side mirror, right blind spot. Is it safe? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So can I come out of roll? Yeah. Just to say something. When you move off, let's say it's in a busy street, you're yeah. doing your part two, you've got cars coming up. Imagine you've had your eyes shut. Would you start with going there to try and move off? Would you start your six point check if there was no chance of you going? Why not? Are you referring to by the time you're over there, there could be a cyclist coming up down here? Well, if I don't know if it's safe to go yet, I don't yeah. know. Right. And I start looking there. How hard is that going to be to get moving off? Is it? And and all that investment of energy, yeah. all, doing all that. I'd only want to do that once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twice. Yeah. Times. And if I, you know, well, just put yourself on a busy road and just look down at your feet and say, right, I'm going to move off now. And do that. It'd be impossible. Mm. It would be, it'd be like, yeah. oh my God, like, hang on a minute. So what you would actually do, right. without a shadow of doubt, what you would do yeah. is you would look ahead and you set a mirror right now and think, well, I'll let these cars go. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I'm going to put a signal on. Yeah. yeah, okay, that looks, I'm prepared at this point. They're letting me go, right. Right. And you'll go. Oh, okay. So it's in two that. stages. So it's definitely yeah. two stages. See so what you mean. we want to kind of look, assess, decide. Yeah. Look at the big picture yeah. and think, can I go? Yes, the road is clear, I can go. Now do your six point check. Yeah, right. Once I've decided, do you okay. know what? Yeah, I'm 95% awesome. sure it's safe. But the six point check is just, what if yeah. mm -hmm. little boy on a bike is coming out of his little house in that yeah. concealed entrance over my left shoulder, mm -hmm. down the footpath in case his mates come in swerving in front of me. And then I pick up where I left off. I'm having another check in that and that and that. Mm -hmm. Blind spot, go. Yeah. So it's blind spot, handbrake's going off, clutch is coming off, yeah. we're off. Right. If I start with it, well, you just try it to see how yeah. hard that would be. It makes a lot of sense. To move yeah. off in a busy road, yeah. or any road, yeah. by starting from the yeah. Because this that's like your short vision, isn't it? So that's yes. like the bubble around the car. Yeah. Whereas to decide to go, we want the big pitch, we want what's coming on down there, what's coming up off, off the roundabout and off here. Yeah. Oh, there's a junction there, I might look in there and think, well, there's a car coming up, he's going to come now. Right? So I think, oh no, I let him come, and then I'm just going to do my yeah. all round observation. Right. So in those two phases, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. In part two, quite often people get marked for hesitation, yeah. so they don't move off because they do that. 
And then they did it again. Which I'm sure I did. Just go. Like, Which go. I'm sure I did the first time round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that is yeah. quite common. So yeah. okay. Because they're too busy looking at the end of their nose kind of thing. Yeah. And not what's going on. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Taking it a bit too far. Yeah. And I only want to do that observation once, really. Yeah. If something, I get to there and think, oh, good, good job I did. This guy's reversing out yeah. his driveway. I didn't know that. I'll wait. And then I'll do it again. Yeah. So very rarely, which needs to do it again. It's only if something's caught in the blinds. Yes. Whoa. Situation, information change, restart. Yes. So okay. it's a reboot, and then we do it again. So anyway, so that's what I would just yeah. you know, do. It like. So your pupils would take that literally, and then their struggle moving on. Right, of course. They get done for hesitation when they're yeah. on their tests. Yeah, and they think, no, this is what my instructor told me. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. Yeah, I know they did. I know they told you about the six point check. Yeah. Yeah. But you're too busy doing that and you're not getting on with it. You yeah. know, you've missed you've missed gaps to go and and you're sitting there for too long. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so right, six point check, done. Know that. Observation, done. Okay. Fantastic. The last thing is moving off and yeah. what you're going to do is one last check over your right shoulder, release the handbrake, and then move off, positioning the vehicle in the center lane. Lift the clutch up, check your, your center mirror, make sure you know what's going on behind you. And yeah. then you're going to, if it's safe to do so, make progress by just, um, you've already released the clutch, by just introducing a bit more gas. Okay. Pressure on the gas. Yeah, fair enough. Are you happy to have a go? I'd like to know how to stop this thing, I think. Of I course, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, so when it's time to stop, it's the same time. When we know we're going to stop, we're going to, let's just identify a place to stop now. Should we stop just before that junction? Obviously, if it was a proper yeah. road, we'd have to stop 10 metres before yeah. it. So if we stop just past this lamp post, this first lamp post with the sign on there. Okay. What we need to do, the first thing that we need to do because we're because we stop and we need to check in the centre mirror so we can see what's happening. Something called mirror signal manoeuvre. So oh, we right. check the centre left mirror. So we're yeah. pulling up on the left. Mm -hmm. We're happy it's safe, we're gonna pop on a left signal. Alright. Left, I mean, not right, left. Yeah. yeah. We're going to take okay. a foot off the gas uh -huh. so the car starts to decelerate. We're then going to apply the brake just a little millimetre at a time. When we apply the brake, that shows. So we've got the left signal on, there's extra signals of the brake lights to the road users behind us, and they know we're pulling over. We then need to steer over to the side of the road, applying the brake, and then just before we stop, putting the clutch down, bringing the brake to a close, bringing the brake, bring the car to a stop. One thing we have to think about is how do we know where to pull over at the side of the road? We can use something called a reference point. What do you think we could use as a reference point? If I just ask you that. I don't know what you mean. No. Well, let's have a look. Can you see this curb here coming towards us? What, where, this one? This curb here on our left. Yeah. Where does it come into the vehicle from where you're sitting? What would you say? More or less down just the middle of the central? car. Just a bit off the middle. No, I know, yeah. No, I know in terms of our distance from the curb that we're probably about three to six inches, which is a reasonable distance. I can see so, in that mirror, it looks close in the mirror, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So you can use that, where that kerb is, yeah. when you start to steer in, you just need to line that kerb up with that reference point. Yeah. Because what we absolutely don't want to do, on this car, I'm sure you won't want to do it on your nice new car either, is hit the wheels on the kerb. Oh yeah. Because that's not good. Yeah. That My mum cause all did that and she got a bit upset. Yeah. Because she had to have the wheels redone, cost oh, about 100 The balance in the tracking, etc. And the it alloy, can, she scraped oh it all. Dear. It can cause punctures and all sorts, so. Okay. 
Yeah, no, it's so, the cab. So as you come into a stop, then what we'll do, you'll 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 check your centre left mirror, pop a signal on, take your foot off the accelerator so the car starts to decelerate. Yeah. You'll start to apply the brake, just a little millimetre at a time, showing the brake lights, yeah. and then you'll steer towards the car towards the side of the road to get that reference point of the kerb coming in the centre of the thing here. Yeah. You'll straighten up and you'll then gently ap apply the brakes until the vehicle stops, popping the clutch down just before the vehicle stops. All right. Get Keep your feet before, still. Yeah. Okay. Keep your feet still. Handbrake, neutral, relax your feet on the pedals. Okay. Does that sound okay? Sounds good to me. You happy to have a go? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Good. So let's prepare the vehicle then. I'm going to talk you through this first time. What I need you to do is, we'll imagine the engine's off, but we'll just get that bit. So you, you, you've done the safety check that you're in handbrake neutral. Can we start the engine? Yeah, sure, okay. So safety check, handbrake neutral. You start the engine, pop the clutch all the way down and move, uh, Pop the gear into first gear, put the car into first gear, find the biting point, cover the gas with your right foot. You have to keep this left foot still. Oh, now. keep left foot still. Yeah. Cover cover the gas, don't press it. Right foot on the right <laughs> right hand I was gonna say that. Right yeah, hand <laughs> Right hand on the steering wheel, left hand. It's just like what's that game? That bloody game with the dots. <laughs> Twister. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> Cut Sorry. that bit. Cut that bit. Alright, so right hand there. Left, left hand, hand on there. the brake. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Now you're ready to go. Okay. Okay. Observ uh, right. First phase of your, of your, your observations. Centre mirror, right mirror. Yeah. Is it safe? Yeah. Okay. Six point check. Is it safe? Yeah. Okay, so now you'll move off, so release the handbrake and gently br gently bring up the clutch, move into the centre of the lane. That's it. Fantastic, that's good, okay. Both hands on the steering wheel, good, okay, fantastic. Now we're going to stop just by this lamppost up here, so centre mirror, left mirror. Get me past it so you've got more time. Okay, sure. Centre mirror, left mirror. Pop a left signal on. Okay, fantastic. Ease off the gas. Yeah. Start to bring in the brake. Just millimetre by millimetre. Line up with the kerb. Line up with your reference point on the kerb. Fantastic. That's good. Bring in the brake a little bit more. Bring in the brake a little bit more. Clutch down and come bring the vehicle to a stop. I just let it roll on. And keep your feet still. Keep your feet still. Handbrake neutral. Cancel the signal and relax your feet. How do you think that went? Oh yeah, really yeah. Good. That was really really good. Yeah. That was excellent. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, excellent. Well done. I did really it. good. So did it. you've you've just driven a car down this road in complete control. Yeah. How how that feel? It's good. Well done. That's really good. Good. Excellent work. I'll have come out of roll. I'll just yeah. turn it so I get yeah. there. Fantastic. So I I just felt did you feel where you wanted me to pull up? You'd have to really rush. Definitely, yes. No. So just yeah. to make it yeah, easy, fair just enough. roll on. But it meant yeah. now I've got to just turn around. So it's no worries. So sure, in some yeah. in some ways this location it can be tricky because you haven't got a lot of yeah. time. Yeah. Where I practiced at the weekend, it's a really long road as long as the eye can see. So we could do four or five attempts oh, yeah. before having to turn around. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. And I'll be doing more of that before Monday for sure. But I mean, this location worked because of where we were. Yeah. Just to be, yeah. get sure. you know, going sooner. There's a lot to remember, isn't there? And, to, and obviously I can, I can completely see that all comes with practice but the mistakes that you make in practice you just know they're going to pop up when you're being really active <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah exactly. it's just anyway well, it does take practice yeah. it's like anything you know <laughs> um the more you do it you you yeah. you realize that you're done you think, oh, yeah. yeah 
Yeah. And you, you're less likely to do it next time, you know, and then you, you, get, you kind of get, you will get there. Yeah. And it's good. What you're doing is good. You've got good knowledge. It's very thorough. Um, yeah. We've said about, learn. yeah, we've practiced that we'll get quicker. You'll get your people moving sooner. Yeah. Yes, um, definitely. There is a lot of detail. There is. There is, isn't there? Um, yeah. And how you manage that over time with your pupil, you will get smarter at that and you think, do you know what? You polish it, if you like, yeah. I'll mm. cover that Dutch reach when it's windy. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. On the first lesson, you might just say, look, you know, going to get out. Before you get out, where are you going to look? Yeah. Oh, in the mirror, yeah, good. Also, just have a look over your shoulder, because can you see that driveway? And you're, no, yeah, so if you look, that's your blind spot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, make sure it's safe. Make sure you don't trip up on the curb or step in a puddle or anything. Yeah. That's that covering and two then, minutes. Uh, and yeah. we'll go round the back. Why, why do you think we're going round the back? Oh, I'm not sure. Well, you know when, you, when you're a little kid, you get taught to cross the road. They say don't cross between two cars. Why is that? Oh, yeah, because I can't see. It'd yeah. be seen. Yeah, exactly. For the same reason. If we stand in front, we're kind of hidden. So if we stand, I'd be safer. Yeah. All right, yeah. That streets will come in when it's windy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, you, no, absolutely. You know, you've got them for that many lessons, so you, you know, you can think, do you know what? I'll give them a, a cut down version. Yeah. But then spread it over time. Yeah. When it becomes this. Just, just to get them driving sooner. That's yes. what they want. Yeah, no, of course. They, they don't care if they've just done about that street no. on their first no. lesson or their fourth or fifth yeah. lesson, really, yeah. do they? Yeah. So well, we uh, yeah. uh, true enough. We do want to teach them good practice as early as we can yes. to form habits. We don't want to start right a couple of lessons before the test start. So oh yeah, do you know I've let you off your mirrors all this time now. Now I'm going to get you to. You'll be like, yeah. wow, I've got now I'm in a bad habit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. now, wow, now trying to fight what feels natural. So there is that argument that we the sooner the better. So yeah. going to form bad. So anyway, now you've got a nice long straight road, longer. Yep. Do you want to have another talk through? This is my second day, so just have yep. a practice on the talk through. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So I'm back, get back in the road. Brilliant. Good, we're going to have one more go then. Fantastic. You did really well for your first attempt. Let's you. give it a go. So, if you can prepare the vehicle, I'm guessing the engine's off isn't it? Is it off? Yes, it's right. oh, no, it's on. So we'll we'll imagine that you've done the safety check, handbrake neutral, started the engine. So clutch all the way down. Fantastic. And move it into first gear. Brilliant. Find the biting point. Good. Right foot covering the gas. Excellent. Right hand on the steering wheel, left hand on the handbrake. Brilliant. Okay. First, uh, first check of the mirrors. So centre, right mirror, is it safe? Six yeah. point check. Is it safe? Yeah. Good, so you're ready to go. So now what I would like you to do is to release the handbrake and just do one last check. Yeah, maybe let's have a look. If we join them up so they're like, yeah they butt up without any time in between so it's like yes so at that point is it safe yeah and say okay i what i find myself yeah. saying to people is, and just do just do that again just double check when it's safe and then if it is safe release your handbrake okay brilliant yeah okay so if it is safe release your handbrake and then just ease the clutch up that's it nice and slowly that's it good and just apply a little bit of gas so we just want to be going 10 15 mile an hour into the center of the lane right hand uh, left hand on the steering wheel good so both hands on the steering wheel at all times fantastic so just keep at this speed that's really really good okay we're going to think about pulling up on the left now so just check your center mirror left mirror left signal foot off the gas so the vehicle decelerates start to introduce the brake and steering towards the left, get this curb into your reference point, yeah. bring the vehicle to a stop, pop your clutch down, that's good, bring the vehicle to a stop, good, oh yeah, okay, I didn't tell you how much to ease on the brake, okay, that's good, I'll take that on board, <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, not so good, uh, right. yeah. pop your handbrake neutral, that's good, Cancel the signal and relax your feet. Fantastic. Okay. 
all that we need to work on there is that when you're bringing in the brake just make sure it's millimeter by millimeter so you're gently bringing it home bring the vehicle to a stop mm. rather than rather than pressing it too hard at the end which you know, can I jolt the vehicle that. yeah yeah so <laughs> i felt that what we do on the third and fourth attempt is we just focus on that and practice okay. it yeah. overall though apart from that little bit of work that we've got to do on the brake how do you feel it went our old that yeah, question on. asked me that at the start because okay. i would have said to you okay. yeah oh i stopped a bit hard yeah so yeah so what would you do differently next time well yeah. i pass it gently yeah. oh. Good. Okay. it helps them immediately yeah yeah so because mm -hmm. you can celebrate success and say mm -hmm. yeah do you know what what was good about it mm -hmm. yeah like because i would say well i didn't know don't, don't tell me what's bad about it don't go negative, yeah. I want to hear what's good about yeah. it. And, and they don't want to tell you. They're yeah. like, well, I don't know, I just stopped really hard. Yeah. Okay. But before that, what happened? Did you did you stall it? Yeah. No. Did you pull out in front of the bus or a snow? No. Okay, so it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. So you, 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 <laughs> yeah. You've, you've prepared the vehicle. Yeah. You've taken effect to observation. You moved off lovely and smooth. Yeah. Then how, what was your position like driving up the road? Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's better than all right. You're dead centre of your lane. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, that was really good. And then what happened? Then we then we were going to talk about stopping. And then you did you check your mirrors? Yeah. Did you put a signal? on? Did you put the correct signal? on? Yeah. yeah. So that was good, wasn't it? So I, thought, oh, so I actually did yeah. quite a lot right. Yeah, definitely. And then good. um. And then. And then what happened? Uh, okay, so now now you can tell me what wasn't so good. Yeah. Well, you know, I stopped really hard. Okay, so what would you do next time differently? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I just press it gently. Yeah. Yeah, so why do you think you pressed it that hard? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think you just said stop, so I thought I'd better press it. Let's stop, yeah. Okay, sure. so next time I'll word it like this, so we don't get that confusion. Yeah. And what and would be the risk if we do stop like that? What's the problem? Well, it's better cut bang my head a bit. So yeah, so your passage is not great for them. No. Don't think you're going to be a chauffeur anytime soon. <laughs> not on that one anyway. Maybe next one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so you could have more comfort, passenger comfort in mind. Uh, what about if there was a car behind you and you stopped like that? What could be the risk there? Oh yeah, they might bash in the back of me. Yeah. It's not giving them a lot of warning that you're going to do that. Are you? They know right. you're going to do that. Okay. So yeah, so we know the risk. We know what we're going to do differently. So let's go and do it. And then what that would make it even better, wouldn't it? So that our, you know, what to you give yourself for moving off? Oh, I don't know. Might give you ten. Yeah. Yeah, we can talk for it. That was a ten because yeah. you do everything right. If you can do that on your own, wow. Yeah. Really building up the confidence. That's yeah. it. So we yeah, because all they want to talk about is what they just did wrong. Same like when we did part two or when we're doing part three. Yeah, you say something, oh yeah, I just oh yeah, I did that wrong. Oh hang on a minute, what about what what about all the other stuff, the ninety nine yeah. things you did right? Yeah. So that's, yeah, yeah. so that is that's quite kind of key yeah. um, to build your learners up because they're like, yeah, I can do this. And so yeah, so the reason I did it, so that now, <laughs> this is going to be the irony of this. So now I'm just going to go in and slap you down <laughs> so, <laughs> and say what you did wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 seriously. Yeah, no. no, so you think what you just did, you yeah. achieved that. Yeah. You got me to do all of that well. Yeah. And so what would you? do differently to prevent that hard break at the end I would reword it and just talk about just apply the brake a millimeter at a time and when you come to a stop almost ease off the braking pressure to stop the vehicle that's it have we talked about three phase braking I'm not sure we have actually no. it wouldn't apply so much for this no. but when roadcraft talks about it so when you're braking you like apply the if you imagine you're doing 70 miles an hour to a roundabout, you kind of start to brake lightly, didn't you? Yeah. Then you firm it up, and then right at the end, you're not letting go of the brake, but you're just yeah. easing it off. But yeah. you don't completely let go of the brake, no. do you? Mm -hmm. So that's the three phases. Right. So it's like it goes mm -hmm. light, firm, and then light at the end. Yeah. So you, you the front of the car comes yeah. back up. And so when you do stop it, just as like a chauffeur mm. stop. It's nice and gentle. Yeah. Stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. If people brake too late, they 
do that at the end. Yeah. Of so, uh, and they, because they haven't left enough time for the last phase, no. or they've just done a one phase break and break really old, right, like yeah. crikey. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. So um, three phases, so, it's soft at either side with a, a yes. firm break in between it. Can't really do it at this stage, slow speed. But essentially, if I just ease off the brake at the end, like if I pressed it one millimetre, two millimetre, three millimetres, at the end I'm going to come off a millimetre off yeah. until we stop. So the brake's still on, so I don't roll until I've got the hand. Yeah. So like that sort of sense. takes it to another level, if you like, that free phrase breaking. Yeah. So all I would say there is just avoid the use of the word stop. Yes. Because you, I had an opportunity to okay. stop before yeah. it. You said stop, and I thought, what would you say then, do? rather than bringing the vehicle to stop? What would you say? I would just say what they've got to do. I'd say right. So we're going to pull up on the left, just past the telegraph pole. So I want you to check your centre mirror, left mirror. Pop on a left signal, right foot cover the brake, don't press it. Left foot cover clutch, don't press it. S maybe press the brake a millimetre, keep your feet still. Steer to left, get your reference point. And now pop your clutch down, press the brake another millimetre, and again, keep your feet still until we come to a stop. Keep right. your feet still, handbrake neutral. So then, because right. if, if I'm still moving and, say, oh, and bring it to a stop, I can yeah. just go. <coughs> Yeah, that's what you said. You said yeah. bring it to a stop, so I did. Meaning stop. I yeah, no, I understand. Stop. Yeah, because right. yeah. Yeah, there are yeah. kind of trigger like words yeah. that have to mean more, and stop is one of those words yeah, that, that you have to you either use yeah. it when you mean stop. Yeah. So like if you know that would be sort of your ground rules. If ever I tell you to stop, I really do mean stop. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So I'll ask you to pull up on the left. Yeah. But if I say stop, no stop, I don't mean yeah. stop. Uh, but you, the, it's the tone of your voice. That, yeah, of course. Yeah. So no stop, stop. Yeah, as opposed to bringing the vehicle to a stop. Yeah. So I very yeah. rarely would a people say, if you said nice and like you just said that, and I'd like to bring the car to a nice gentle stop, that's yeah. fine. But you're because saying stop at the, the time you want it to yeah. stop. Yeah, sure, yeah. So it's kind of timing of your delivery of, of the words. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, with that said, we good. yeah. So should we should we head back over? Yeah, sure. Thank you so for that your was, time again. No, no, it's good. Very well. Very useful. I'm looking forward to a bit more practice leading up to. So what's that? One one hour fifty one. It is. Yeah. So that's sure. all right. So you can just press the little yep. worm thingy.